Naomi Osaka versus Iga Swiatek is the final of the Miami Open for 2022. And both ladies have been very impressive on their road to the final. Osaka started the tournament as an unseeded player and would play Sharma in the first round. But Osaka had no problems getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4. In her second round, she'd take on the 13 seed Angelique Kerber. And this was set up to be a blockbuster match. But again, Osaka was just way too good beating Kerber in straight sets, 6-2, 6-3. In her third round matchup, she was supposed to play Mukova, who had just come off beating the US Open Finals of last year, Fernandez. But unfortunately, Mukova couldn't play, and Osaka got the walkover victory. In the fourth round, she'd take on the American Allison Risk. And again, Osaka just didn't look bothered, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4. In a quarterfinal matchup, she took on the Australian Open finalist of 2022, Danielle Collins. And although Collins was injured throughout the match, it didn't take away from Osaka's performance, Another easy straight sets win over the number nine seed, 6-2, 6-1. In the semifinal, she took on the number 22 seed, Belinda Bencic, who'd been a very dangerous player against Osaka in the past. And after losing the first set, Osaka had to rebound and would eventually win in three, 4-6, 6-3, 6-4 to advance to the final. Iga Swiatek came into the tournament as the number two seed and would get a bye in the first round. In her second round, she'd take on the Swiss player, Golubic, and she absolutely blitzed it, winning in straight sets, 6-2, 6 love. In her third round, she'd take on the American Brengel, and again, she was serving up bagels, winning the match, 6-love, six 6-3. Six in the fourth round, she'd take on another American in the number 14 seed, Coco Goff. And this was set up to be a blockbuster match, but Sviantec was just way too good, winning it 6-3, 6-1. In her quarterfinal, she'd take on fellow Grand Slam champion and number 28 seed, Petra Gavitova, who was having a bit of a resurgence this week. But again, it did not bother Sviantec, and she got through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. In the semi-finals, she took on the number 16 seed Pagula, who had beaten Sviantek in the past. And after an easy first set, the second set was a battle, with Sviantek eventually prevailing in straight sets, 6-2, 7-5, to advance to the final. These two have only played the one time before, with Osaka getting the win back in 2019 on a hard court, but it was a very close match and very entertaining, and of course, Sviantek, over the last few years, has come a long way since then. If Osaka's gonna win, she needs to serve well. At times against Bencic, even though she lost that first set, she was serving very well, and that seemed to keep her going, especially in the second and third sets of that matchup. And the entire week, the serve has set up the ground strokes, which have also been really good. So the serve is a big part of Osaka's game. If Shiontek's going to win, she just needs to keep her cool. Now, she's on a big win streak. We all know that. She's world number one, no matter what happens after this match. But she's playing against Osaka, who is a known champion, and it's going to be tough. She's going to keep mentally ready. She's going to be the favorite as well. So she's going to have to deal with that against a very aggressive Osaka. This is the matchup I think everybody wanted to see at the start of the tournament, and we finally got it, which is very rare on the WTA that we actually get what we want to see. But I think it's going to be Osaka winning this one. I think she's going to complete the fairy tale. I think she's going to beat Sviantek. And I think Sviantek having the world number one ranking already wrapped up. I think the streak might be broken, and Osaka's the one to do it. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one and lift the trophy in Miami?